Good morning, Josh and Lisa. My name is Joseph Cody, a.k.a. Sir Drumalot, coming to you from South Central Mississippi, Columbia, Mississippi. Saw your video last night on the April geocaching challenge, doing geocache maintenance. And I got to say, it came at a good time. I planned this maintenance run already. Had a few DNFs on my Route 44 series, which is up Highway 44 between Columbia and Sumrall, Mississippi. I've got my log, my replacement logs and replacement containers ready just in case. So I'm going to stop by each one at six caches. So why don't you guys join me? Okay, so I'm at the first one. It's called Bolt to Nowhere. Uh, lots of traffic this morning. Um, at the risk of turning my camera around, uh, this is it right here. It just looks like a bolt. It's just on a guardrail. I constructed it. I'm going to put a new log sheet in there and uh, move on to the next one before I get harassed by anybody else. So we're just about a mile down the road at the next one called Not Too Far. And I named it that because it's not too far off the road here. I put it back in the woods just a little bit. And uh, I actually replaced this container a little over a month ago but we've had some flooding in this area so i figure i'll stop and check on it and you can see it right there it's uh like i said i just replaced that container i'm not too concerned about it so i'm just gonna move on then okay so here we are at the next stop guys um the name of this one's rose hill there's a church on this little road here called rose hill where they have this uh this sign here and I thought it was a great place for a cache. I've had to replace it before. It got muggled or something. And it looks like it's been muggled again. Nope, there it is right there. That's it. Uh, so uh, I'll give this one a check real quick and see if it needs any maintenance. All right, so here's the next stop. The name is Pretty Typical. Exactly how it says. Pretty Typical Guardrail Cache. It's uh, just a... Uh, magnetic key holder right up under there the log was actually in really good shape but you know what it's spring it's time for renewal so i changed the log anyway cash maintenance okay so just a, a few more miles down the road i'm at stop uh what is this four five i don't remember um this is the historic advanced church the name of the cache is established 1885 and it's just this nice quaint little church very old i've never actually been inside um i don't oh i'm sure they let people inside there's a power meter and everything so i guess it's got lights uh i had a dnf on this one uh last weekend i just haven't been able to make it up here to check it out so let's have a look see and you know what it's gone um never had a problem with this cache before but it is definitely not where i left it so i guess i'm gonna be putting a new container but that's okay i've got one handy haha -ha. so let me find a spot to put it and i'll move on okay so i'm at the next stop called fairly typical another guardrail who doesn't love a guardrail? Anyway, I didn't use a magnetic container or anything like that. I was still new to caching, so I just thought this was clever at the time. And I guess maybe it still kind of could be. Hold on. I gave a thorough search of the area. The catch is not here. It's gone. Uh, there hasn't been a find since uh, July 15th of 2015, so it's been almost a year and no one has dnf'd it i guess they were just coming by and just weren't leaving a comment so um got me a replacement match container black duct tape doesn't even really need it on a discard rail but anyway i'm just gonna put it back um just where i had it it's not in the usual place but it's kind of typical all right on to the last one I had a DNF on this one. I've replaced it before. 
we we'll have to kind of see what happens. Okay, so as I said, I had another DNF on this one. Uh, this whole series has been out uh, just over two years, almost two and a half years. Um, I've replaced this one once before, and I kind of feel like, um, as you can see right here, I just had a little carriage bolt attached to a cleaned out Carmex tube. Ha ha. And it was, it fit kind of loosely in there. And I think maybe when, um, the county was doing some bush hogging it may have knocked it out so i put some tape on there to kind of snug it up a little bit and we'll see if that helps out um so anyway it's my cash maintenance run for today hope you enjoyed the time hope i win the prize that'd be great you guys have a great day